his second event of the year, but two riders can affect the outcome. What a pairing this is. Ryan Dirt Eater, already a winner in Oklahoma City. We've talked about how last year, these two combined for the win when Dirty to Road Bruiser for 93 and three quarters. Yeah, one of the biggest rides of Dirty Eater's life just so happens it came up on Bruiser. And there's a thing, man. Look for more of the same with this and Bruiser. When we got to see him out in the long round, it looked just like this. Here's the facts. Lemmy's going to be our new world number one, no doubt about it. But Dirty Eater has a chance to steal some thunder right here because all Dirty Eater needs is eight seconds. Remember, he comes in, as does Mason Taylor, perfect. So a ride and Dirty Eater moves a full bull ahead of everybody else. And don't forget, this is Bruiser's second trip this weekend at Sioux Falls. He's going on an unprecedented quest trying to win a fourth world championship as a bucking bull. It's going to be cool, man. Yeah, and for our new fans, no bulls ever won four world champion bucking bull titles. Can the great bruiser do it? He's got to get past Dirty. I tell you what, bruiser's back, no doubt about it. Ryan Dirtier was atop a moving mountain. What are the judges going to 46 and a quarter? Awesome, man. That, you can't get any better than this. You just get to see a 92 point ride from Jose on Cochise. And then you run in Bruiser and Dirt Eater. Dirt Eater's trying with everything he's got. Check out the air that Bruiser is getting. <laughs> Any questions that there were on where is Bruiser at right now in his career? Well, I think this just answered a lot of them. He's as good as he's ever been. And between our bucking battle earlier today on CBS and this championship round, the state of the union in the bull world is fantastic. Yes, it is, man. Our final pairing. 